Hey everybody, Wendy Devereaux here. Welcome to my channel. So I made a set of three cylinder vases to complement my painting that I uploaded last week. And if you would like to see how I made them, then please keep watching. Today's DIY is going to match my painting that I did last week, my teal and gold. And it's going to be a, a set of three cylinder vases. And I have two nine inch and one seven and a quarter inch. You can buy these at any of your dollar stores. And I have two of these bases. Um, I used to have a room that I had decorated in boho. I'm going to be using paradise and gold, both extra fine glitters. My crushed gold filler glass and my mini mirror tiles. But for the paint this week, I'm going to be using an aquamarine metallic and my champagne gold. I've used this in some of my paintings and I'm going to use this gold metallic and I need to add a couple of coats uh, to all three of my cylinder vases because I don't have that much left in this can. Um, and I don't want to have to go out and buy more of this. So if I put a couple of base coats of this, then I know that I'm going to have enough of my spray paint to finish up my vases. And today I'm only going to be using my E6000. And it's going to be used to adhere my bases to my cylinders, to two of my cylinders. And I'm going to be using it today to adhere my crushed glass and glitter. So yeah, you guys, let's get started. Okay, I lost some footage. Um, I had it on slow-mo, not realizing. So um, I lost the footage putting a couple of base coats of the uh, gold metallic on all three of my cylinder vases. So that's all I've done, you guys, is I put two coats of this on, letting each coat dry. And then I went out and I spray painted with my... Uh, gold metallic spray paint and they're all dry now and I do apologize for that and I'm only going to do one of these on camera um, for my painting technique that I that I use uh, in my other paintings and I also uh, spray painted the bottom of all three of them as well so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a one and a half inch blending brush and I'm putting some of this champagne metallic gold. So I'm just going to get these ready and I'm not going to put that much of my aquamarine paint on my vases and I want them to be more gold. Uh, the opposite of what my painting is that I did last week, right? So the first thing that I'm going to do is just add a couple of lines of this gold. And I don't want this to completely cover the the gold that's already on there. Okay, this is just just to introduce another gold in here. And then I'm just going to add a couple of little dollops of this teal. Not a lot of it. Or, sorry, this aquamarine. Not a lot of it. And I'm just going to load my brush up here a little bit with the gold. And then just go down my vase like so. Just maintaining as straight a line brush stroke as I possibly can. Okay, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little less on now. That might have been a little bit too much. Okay. Just put a little dollop here. 
and maybe a little one there. Very little. Get a little more here. It all depends on what you want for your design. You can add as much of the uh, aquamarine as you want, whatever uh, your taste is. Oh, these are going to be really pretty, you guys. Okay. And I'm not too concerned about the top or the bottom because I'm going to be covering covering those with mini mirror tiles. That is really, really going to look pretty. If you don't like your design after it's completely dry, do it over again. It, it's, it's only paint. You can add to it if you want. Okay, so while the paint is drying on my vases, I'm going to move on to my bases. I'm going to spruce these up a little bit. And my goal is to make it look like my crushed glass and glitter is kind of dripping down the base, but not covering the whole base with crushed glass and glitter. And I'm going to be using E6000 to adhere it because it's a thicker, thicker adhesive. It's not like an Elmer's glue or um, the liquid glass that I use because this, of course, is going to have to sit up straight to dry. And if I'm using something too runny, it's going to pull all my crushed glass down and I don't want that. And I do, but I do want a strong glue. And E6000 is I think going to be thick enough, like it's not uh, a runny glue, so I'm hoping <laughs> that it's going to stay put where I place it on here. So I'm just going to, I think I'm going to start at the bottom. I just want to get a feel for it. I'm just going to kind of brush, brush it on where I think I'm going to want my crushed glass. Okay, now I want to try and get smaller pieces. And I am going to add the glass first. because I want as much as this glass to touch that glue as possible. I'm going to add my, uh, this is the Paradise Extra Fine Glitter, you guys. I want to make sure I have some teal color down in here. And I'm just going to shake it on lightly. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of my extra fine gold. Okay. I 
Now, that is going to be really pretty. That, every piece of the glass, the crushed filler glass, is stuck onto E6000 right now. So that is not going to come off. Maybe just add a little up here. Maybe a couple of little dollops just here, not all the way, not all the way down this stem. And maybe a little bit like so. So here we go again. Put a little bit of the glass. A couple little well, that one's a little bit big, but I think it'll be fine. And I think I'm only going to put two there. Okay, and again with my Paradise. Make sure there's a lot right there where that is exposed. Now I'll go in with some gold. Ooh. Ooh, you guys, I like that. Yeah, that is going to look fantastic as a base for my cylinder vase. Okay, so as you can see, my vases are all dry, my, the paint on my vases. And so is the E6000. So before I tie into my vases, I want to brush off my bases because if I feel that I want to add a little bit more uh, crushed glass or glitter, I want to be able to have these ready when I'm adding the crushed glass and glitter onto my vases. So we're just going to brush these off. And I have to tell you that, no, they did not slide at all. My E6000 was thick enough that none of this slid. So I'm very, very pleased with that. That is very, very pretty, you guys. I love that. Okay, so now our cylinder vases, which oh, I couldn't be happier with these. I love the look of these. They are ready for me to put on some of my mini mirror tiles, right? And of course, I've got a bunch of these from Dollarama, but you can find... Uh, mini mirror tiles off of Amazon. There's lots of suppliers out there. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut all of my strips that I know that I want to put on my cylinder vases and then I will bring you back. Okay, so I have all of my mini mirror tiles cut out. They have a self-adhesive backing but I am going to add a little bit of the E6000 to them. So I'm going to start out with this one. And I want a row at the bottom. Now, one, two, three, four. This is a row of four. And it doesn't matter, you guys. It all depends on your uh, particular design, whatever you want to do, right? These are just little dollar store brushes. And um, when I did the bases, I just had to throw that one out.
Okay, and then when you know you've got them placed where you want them, then just go ahead and press them down. Okay, and then I'm going to put my next row on. Probably, I want to leave a gap about like so. come around and connect here. Okay. No, it is not lining up. So if it's not going to line up for me, I'm going to take those two pieces off and I'm going to fill that up with crushed glass and glitter, okay? I used to stress over that, but I'm not anymore <laughs> with this technique. Okay, so I'm just gonna have a look. Make sure that the gap between these tiles and these tiles is fairly, you know, is approximately the same which it looks like it is to me. And then now I'm going to go ahead and press my tiles down. I'm just gonna give you a quick close up of that. Okay. I want a row of three up top. This is ready now for crushed glass and glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and add my mini mirror tiles to my other two cylinder vases and then I will bring you back. Okay, so my mini mirror tiles are all adhered to my vases and there are three things that I want to point out. Um, in keeping with my painting and this technique, I want to make sure that I have two rows with a gap between them because that's where I'm going to be putting my crushed glass and glitter. And normally, I've got the back side of this one showing, normally this would drive me crazy, right? These gaps, but that isn't bothering me now. I will show you that I'm going to be covering all that up with crushed glass and glitter, and you'll never notice that. And also, these vases, these cylinder vases, the bottoms of them are not poker straight. So when I adhered the uh, mini mirror tiles to them, there is a gap. See that? And there's no way that I can get around that because there's kind of a wow to them. They're not nice and flat. And with glass, you need a flat surface. So that's okay. I'm going to be adhering crushed glass and glitter to those areas that are not flush. And I just wanted to point that stuff out to you guys. I'm gonna start by covering up the gaps where my mini mirror tiles did not um meet up properly right and i'm just going to paint some down onto my tile here and bring it along in here, just like I did in my painting last week. And I'm 
going to add a little bit of my Paradise Extra Fine Glitter. And then my Extra Fine Gold. Can't even tell that there was a gap there where my uh, mini tiles didn't line up properly. And I'm going to do the same here. Now, what I'm going to do is where, let's see, stand up here, the, um, here where the tiles are sitting flat, that's where I'm going to concentrate on adding my crushed glass and glitter, because I'm not putting crushed glass and glitter all the way around this gap. I'm only putting it sporadically in this gap, right? So I'm going to make sure that where um, the tiles aren't sitting flat with my vase, that's where I really want to make sure that I put some. And then I'm going to come down into my tile here a little bit. And I'm trying to grab the smaller pieces of the crushed glass rather than the bigger pieces. Oh, you guys, this is going to be so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside to dry. And I will do my other two off camera, and then I will bring you back and we'll put them all together. Okay, so my E6000 on my vases here is all dry. It's been drying overnight. And now I'm going to brush brush off any of the uh, loose glass and glitter. Hmm. Oh, there's one piece. Okay, so I'm only going to be putting two of my vases on a base. And I've got them just sitting here where approximately I want them. And I'm going to be adhering them with E6000. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this over so that I don't lose where I had placed them and where I want them. Now, because these bases have a very thin rim to them, 
I want to make sure that I have plenty of E6000 on there so that they do not come off on me. So what I'm going to do is just kind of eyeballing where I need to be here. And I'm just going to make a pen mark. I want to get plenty on there without it getting too messy, right? Just... I'm just going to set that one aside and I am going to do the same with, I think I'll do it this way. I'm just going to turn this around like so, and this like so. and then bring this base right back the same way I took it off. Okay, so I've decided after seeing these put together that I'm not going to put mini mirror tiles along this uh, ridge here on the base of my vase. I'm going to add crushed glass and glitter on there instead. And this is looking fantastic. I love this. So I'm going to do the same thing as I've been doing all along. I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and just squeeze some of this right out of the tube. For this part I'm not going to put as much of the paradise. I think I'm going to put more of the gold. Yeah, I'm glad I did it with the crushed glass instead. Okay, so I'm going to turn this upside down like so, and I'm going to do the other one. I'm going to let all this dry, and then I'm going to um, display them for you. Okay, everybody, here's the finished look. I am so pleased with the way these turned out, and they go awesome with that painting that I did last week, which is exactly why I did it, right? Oh, these are so beautiful. And I love the bases. I so love that technique, adding the crushed glass and glitter over top of the mini mirror tiles. That is such a neat look. I love that dripping effect of the crushed glass and glitter, and I'm really glad that I didn't put the mini mirror tiles around uh, this, this part of the base, right? I like the crushed glass and glitter. Oh, these are gorgeous. And the paint, I love that paint in, on the vases. And you could add crushed glass and glitter. You could have it dripping down your vase, but I wanted it a little less because my painting is so, um, my painting has so much crushed glass and glitter on it, right? So I just wanted this to be a little less 
full of the uh, bling. Oh, you guys, these are so, so pretty. And that champagne gold, that sparkle that goes through, um, it's just, it's spectacular. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, I just hope it shows a sparkle, my video. I, I really do. I just can't get over that. That is so pretty. I'm trying to get all the way around my vases here so you, you can see. Because they're like this all the way around. So they would be perfect, like right in the middle of a dining room table. They don't necessarily have to be up against the wall, right? Oh, I hope some of you guys make these because you would be so pleased with them. And these bases, yeah, go to your local thrift store, you guys. Keep an open mind when you go in there. Look for stuff that you can use as a base for your vases just to give them varying heights, right? Like I only had the two, so that's why I thought I would leave the one here without a base on it, right? And then I have the three varying heights. Oh boy, hmm. beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, you guys, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit that little notification bell and you will be notified when I upload all of my future videos. And as always, you guys, I so appreciate you taking the time to watch and God bless.